council budgets are money allocated by commissioners, whether this is a local authority or a clinical commissioning group, to individuals to meet their assessed health and care needs. At its core, personal budgets are about driving personalization and it's about giving citizens that control over their care and support and the services that they receive. Personal budgets are not a new thing. They have been in existence for a long time. Local authorities have used them since the mid 1990s, especially for people with disabilities. Um, and they represent an innovation in terms of how services are commissioned and delivered. This report focuses on three key themes. First, where personal budgets have been used in the past. Here we don't only talk about social care, where they've got a long and varied history, but other areas which have seen smaller scale pilot schemes, such as youth unemployment or ex-offender rehabilitation. Secondly, we look at where personal budgets are currently being used. Here the main focus is on the NHS and the use of personal health budgets, which are currently being rolled out from 40,000 people to 200,000 by 2024. Finally, we look at where personal budgets could be used in the future. Our main focus here is to look at those areas where personal budgets have either been trialled in small pilot schemes or haven't been trialled at all. And whilst we recommend that pilot schemes are used cautiously, personal budgets have the potential to make a huge impact on public services in the UK. The use of personal budgets is growing. We know that the government has lots of ambitions to expand personal budgets beyond social care and healthcare. At the moment, 40,000 people access a personal health budget, around 500,000 people access um, a personal budget in social care. We know that by 2023, there are gonna be around 1 million people accessing personal budgets in healthcare and social care only. If we think more widely, 15 million people in England have a long-term condition which could make them eligible for a personal health budget. So we need to think about how we deploy this, these systems. Um, and what we have found with our research is that evaluation is often patchy. Most of the time they, the outcomes are actually based on small scale pilots. There's a pilot effect which means that those areas actually receive more training and resources which in the long run means that they cannot be scaled up or replicated. Based upon our research, this report makes three key recommendations. First, that the NHS pilot scheme model used for personal health budgets is utilised more broadly. This involves longer pilot schemes, but also a greater focus on value for money and not just user experiences. Secondly, we recommend that data underpins all personal budgets. This applies not only when evaluating whether a personal budget has been successful or not, but also how well suited an individual is to a personal budget in the first place. Finally, we recommend that there needs to be a shift in how professionals work with citizens. Personal budgets only work if the user is supported and given the guidance necessary to get the most out of their money. Doing so will ensure that citizens receive the best possible public services, but also that taxpayers get the most value for their money.